Hey, what's going on guys? Terribly Tactical with a quick little video, just expressing some opinions, some ideals as far as having a light on a firearm, a defensive firearm. Now, first of all, I think you should have a light on every gun that you ever intend to fight with. And it's kind of a gray area because you don't always know what gun you're going to end up fighting with, right? It could be a battlefield pickup, you know, you're in the street, whatever happens, you know, you don't know that you're always going to be fighting with your gun, your carry gun, your house gun, your whatever. So it's kind of iffy there, but for any home defense gun, you know, you should have a light on it, whether it's a pistol, a rifle, a shotgun, anything in between. You should definitely have a light on it because you should be able to identify the threat and make sure it's a bad guy that's, you know, threatening great bodily harm or death to you and not your grandson, Timmy, that, you know, is sleepwalking or something like that. So today, for example, we have the Glock 19X. It's unloaded. Not that I have to show you safety Nazis, but... It is a rare occurrence because all my guns are loaded all the time except for a specific few that are just collector's items and stuff like that, as they should be. You know, that guns are, are meant to do a certain thing, you know, just like flashlights or automobiles. And without the batteries or the gas, they get you nowhere. So keep them loaded. You should have proper trigger discipline. Your safety is this little guy and what's in between your ears. And unfortunately, not everybody has a lot in between their ears, especially nowadays. However, uh, not going to drag this out too long. Again, I personally believe that every fighting gun, whether it be your Minuteman setup, your home defense rig, you could definitely incorporate it into an EDC gun, depending on what you carry. Um, but I don't necessarily think that you need to have a light on your carry pistol. It definitely can't hurt. I think no matter what, whether you do or not, you should have a offhand light, you know, streamlight, surefire, standalone light, handheld light that's not attached to your gun that you can use for any general EDC tasks. Or if your gun doesn't have you, you know, um, if your gun doesn't have the ability to put a light on it, like something like this, you know, a nice little five shot snubby, you know, you can offhand it with the light and, and still get it done, you know, whether, regardless of whatever technique you want to use. But on guns that provide you the ability to mount a light to it or a light laser combo or ha however you guys want to do it, I think you should given its role. So this Glock 19X is one of my home defense guns. And, you know, it is usually loaded all the time. One in the pipe, full mag, spare mags laying around right next to it so I can grab and go. It has a light. If I'm using a shotgun for home defense, which I also do, uh, Mossberg 590 special purpose, speed feed stock, all that stuff, it's got a light on it. I also have a rifle for home defense that has a light on it. You know, because you, you can't shoot what you can't see. And you always want to identify the threat, not only to help you shoot better and to be more accurate and to get on target, but so you don't shoot somebody that doesn't need shooting. That's a big thing because remember, every single one of those pills that leaves this guy or whatever it is, you're responsible for. So you don't want to shoot people that don't need shooting, but you want to be effective and efficient in shooting people that do need shooting. So a light definitely helps you do that. Plus... There's the whole, um, you know, it's bright enough to where it could temporarily disorient them. You know, you could hit them with the strobe. You know, that's definitely disorienting. You know, different training techniques, this, that, and the other thing. Have a good quality light. Stream light, Surefire. I know some of the Olight lights, uh, their Valkyries and stuff like that have gotten a lot of press. They seem to be decent. I definitely only trust Stream light or Surefire products myself. But if it works for you, it works for you. But having a light just solely to be able to identify the threat and see what you're shooting at is, you know, mission number one. It's objective number one. All the, sa the side added benefits of, oh, well, it's bright enough to temporarily blind them. You know, I can get off the X and, and move and shoot and they don't know where I'm at. And, you know, now their night vision is screwed and maybe I hit them with the strobe and, and now they're disoriented. I could use that to my advantage. I believe those are all valid conquests by any means. And you should train like that. You should have those, you know, those tools and those options at your disposal. But another thing that a lot of people don't think about 
is guns out of battery in a semi-automatic platform, your gun can go out of battery, okay? Which means, now this is clear, we showed you already, no mag, no bullets, okay? So your gun can go out of battery. So if I didn't have this light on there, let's imagine, and I was wrestling with a guy, I was pushed up, you know, I, I shoved this in his gut, trying to get a round off, not going to work. Not going to work because the gun's out of battery. So when the gun is in battery, then I can shoot, okay? So the light provides a nice standoff because if I'm, I'm rustling and tussling with this guy and he's grabbing for my gun and I got to stick it into him or we're that close in contact where it just naturally happens, the light provides a nice standoff to where I can still shoot because my gun's not being affected by either his hand, his body, whatever it is, and pushing the gun out of battery. That's a big downfall on a semi-automatic pistol. Again, we're unloaded here. That's a redeeming factor of a revolver because the barrel's fixed. It has nothing to do with the operation of the gun. So I could sit here and just, and it works. But on most revolvers, there's only a couple that I know of, you can't really mount a light to them. So everything is a pro and a con. Everything is a give and a take. There's no perfect solution to anything. You know, it's just what works best for you in your given application. So, you know, I, I kind of wanted to bring that up because even if... You know, you're, you're not so worried about a light. Maybe it's your carry gun. The standoff factor of it alone, I think, is beneficial. And it's a byproduct of having the light and being able to see what you're shooting, possibly disorient the guy that, you know, you're shooting at, give you an advantage. Because when you're fighting for your life or the life of innocent civilians or your family, your loved ones, whatever the situation may be, I will take every single advantage I possibly can 10 out of 10 times and that's my take on it guys quick little video hope you guys enjoyed hopefully maybe it, it's got you thinking of uh you know stuff like that you know i always want to be thinking i always want to be moving forward progressing and uh, hopefully this little video is helping you guys do just that thanks for watching check out the links in the description box below and stay tuned for more videos from yours truly i appreciate everything guys we'll see you on the next one